L'Atelier Rouge is a painting by the French artist Henri Matisse. It was painted in 1911, and is owned by the Museum of Modern Art. The painting, whose name translates as the Red Studio, is often considered Matisse's most significant work. L'Atelier Rouge, the Red Studio, features a small retrospective of Matisse's recent painting, sculpture, and ceramics, displayed in his studio. The artworks appear in color and in detail, while the room's architecture and furnishings are indicated only by negative gaps in the red surface. The composition's central axis is a grandfather clock without hands, it is as if, in the oasis of the artist's studio, time were suspended. Henri Matisse. You know him as a prominent part of art history. But before he arrived on the scene, the way the world looked at color and form was inherently different. Matisse changed the trajectory of art altogether, introducing bold palettes and shapes that eventually became a staple of modern art. Matisse cut his teeth in post-impressionism, a style that utilized bright colors, thick application of paint, and expressive distortion of the natural world. He later applied his own twist on the format, blazing the trail for a new movement that would soon be coined Fauvism. The genre got its name when an art critic referred to the style as Fauves, French for wild beasts. It was characterized by vivid colors and the use of very basic lines and shapes to depict its subject matter. Fauvism paved the way for new forms of abstraction. The next time you see a cutout pattern on a t-shirt or billboard, or eye a pair of bold pumps or starburst earrings, take note of the color palette used and style of shapes constructed. Are they reminiscent of Matisse? The answer will, most likely, be yes. Paris in the early years of the 20th century was a hotbed for the avant-garde, and Henri Matisse one of its most revolutionary talents. Dubbed a fauve or wild beast for his radical early experiments in color, Matisse rejected the notion that artists should present an illusion of reality, but he was, however, deeply inspired by the world around him. In his prints and drawings, his paintings, sculptures, and his late cutouts, he distilled all this into an art that sang with color, an art of sinuous line and form, simplified almost to the point of abstraction. Matisse gave us a window on the world that was distinctly his own, but left art transformed forever.